Hello everyone. This is part 2 of the previous tutorial. Here, we will control this robot using a gaming joystick, and I will also show two more robots, where we will reuse the same differential drive action graph to control them. Since it is a continuation of the last tutorial, I suggest watching the previous tutorial first before starting this one. In the last tutorial, we were able to control this robot with ROS2 twist messages. So let's save this project. I will add this save file in the description of the video. I am saving it as turtlebot underscore tut6. Now first, connect the gaming controller to your laptop. Both Bluetooth and wired controllers will work. To confirm the connection, you can use the software Stess GDK. You can install it using the command shown on the display. Now open the software. Here you can see it is showing my connected controller. Double click on it. You can see the values are changing, which means our controller is connected properly. So let's close this. Open the terminal and clear the terminal. First, we need to install Pygame because we are reading joystick input in Python. I have already attached a link to the folder in the description. Download it and go to this directory. Then run the turtlebot underscore joy underscore combined dot py file. Here in this window, RS2 is already sourced. So if you get any error, you need to source RS2 first before using this command. Now here you can see, joystick detected, is showing. We can also confirm that we are getting the values. Open a new terminal and source ROS2. First, check the topic list. Here we can see the CMD underscore bell topic where we are currently publishing the twist message. So let's echo this topic and see the values. For linear velocity, I am using the left joystick Y axis and for angular velocity, I am using the right joystick X axis. You can see the values are changing properly. So now start the simulation and check. Now I am giving angular velocity, and you can see our robot is moving in the clockwise direction, and now in the anti-clockwise direction. Let's check linear velocity. See, our robot is moving in the forward direction, and now in the reverse direction. So we are able to control our robot with the controller. Now let's move to the next part. Now we will check this action graph and our setup with different robots. So let's delete this TurtleBot 3. We will take these robots from the Isaac Sim Assets. So go to Windows, Browsers, then click Isaac Sim Assets. Now in the bottom panel, you can see a new window of Isaac Sim Assets. Click on Robots. It will take some time to load all the assets. Once it is loaded, we need to look for two wheel robots. So I will be selecting Jebot. It has two wheels. Just drag it into the stage panel and put it inside the world prim. You can see the robot here. Let's take this robot down to the surface. But it is also showing some camera too. Actually, it is a camera sensor. We just need to hide it. So go to the stage panel. It should be inside the chassis. Yes. Under RGB underscore camera, you can see the camera sensor. Just untick the eye icon. Now our robot looks perfect. It is below the surface. So let's take it a little bit up. Now the next thing is to look for its revolute joints. In the stage panel, under Jetbot, you can see these two wheel joints. We can visualize them too, which I have shown before how to do. So let's check. Here you can see the joints, and the same for another wheel too. As we confirmed, let's hide it. In the last tutorial, we gave the target velocities in the property panel. So let's do that quickly and check whether the robot is moving or not. 
Here you can see it is moving properly. Now pay attention to the next steps because they are important. Remember these steps for every robot when using our action graph. First, make the target velocity zero. The first thing is to check the articulation route. Click on the filter icon. Click on Physics Articulation Routes. Here you can see that the Jebop Prim is the articulation route. So untick this now. Then open the action graph. In this action graph, we need to change the names of the joints as this robot is new. So copy the joint names and paste them into the input of the constant token node. Do this for both wheels. Just to verify, you can see this array has the correct joint names for the Jebot. Now the next step is to change the target prim. As we already confirmed that Jebot prim is the articulation route, so we will select this prim as the target prim. I have kept our code running. You can see it here in the terminal. Now let's run the simulation and check. Here you can see I am able to move this robot with my controller. Forward, backward. Clockwise. And anti-clockwise. Now let's try one more example. But this time, we will do these steps quickly. Delete the Jebot. Look for another two-wheel drive robot. Here, Carter Robot. Let's drag and add it into our environment. Place it properly in the environment. Let's hide the camera. And now look for joints. Here are multiple joints, but we need the right and left wheels. Now open the action graph. Change the joint names as per the new robot. So you understood that we are using the same action graph for each robot. The main point is, to use the differential drive, you can just import the save differential drive action graph in your project, and you can reuse it for your robot. Now the next step is to change the target prim and run the simulation. And here you can see I am able to control the robot. Here you can see the speed does not look correct. This is because I have not changed the wheel radius wheel diameter, and max linear velocity as per the robot in the differential controller block in the action graph. So please edit these settings for your robots. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I will add all these different robots in the description. In the next tutorial, I am going to show a different drive system. So stay tuned and subscribe to my channel. If you find this helpful, please like the video. And if you have any doubt, write to me in the comments. Thanks for watching.